Welcome to the Tell You Later Show, where we'll meet you at the intersection of historical and hysterical. Sincere thanks to all those who support us on Patreon. See the full list at the end of the show. And there's always room for more. We haven't got a title song for this show, so we're singing this thing instead. Okay. It's really just a substitute, nonetheless, a melody may stay in your head. Oh, I hope so. Cause it's a tune. It's a tune. You'll love to croon. You'll love to croon. Ah, but there's one thing you should know. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Ain't it peculiar? Believe it or not. We haven't got a title song for this show. Oops. <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. I said I would tell you later, and here is we it later? are. It is later. It Ooh, is later. Right. Welcome to the second part of my deep and probing interview with Ooh. Tim Friedlander, musician, professor, engineer, voice artist, studio owner, and wait till you hear what else he's up to besides doing the um, the uh, voiceover resource guide, which mm -hmm. will be coming out in July. We talked yep. about that. We talked about you having a satellite studios mm -hmm. with UVC lights that kill mm -hmm. germs so people can go in there. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to cover two things that are really important, but Let's since I, since I don't want to forget, and okay. I was going to save it till the <laughs> end, but it's super, super exciting, which yeah. is why I think you're a saint. I <laughs> did call you the, the uh, V.O. Czar online. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, L.A. V.O. Czar. <laughs> you have created something so fantastic, and, and let me preface this by saying I have been blessed to work as a union actor for mm -hmm. 40 years. Uh, but every year, I have to qualify mm -hmm. to get my health insurance. I have to earn a certain amount of money. And as the uh, in the beginning, I had AFTRA and SAG were mm -hmm. two separate unions. I had 100% coverage with AFTRA, 100% mm -hmm. coverage with SAG. Oh, thank you, all the patrons. I forgot. I didn't just say thank you. Yes. Speaking of money and earning, <laughs> thank you, all you patrons who are out there supporting the show buying our merch at Merchulator, and you can pick anything you want, by the way. You Ooh, get swag. I like this. this Do you really? The red hat looks good. Okay, yeah. you don't have yeah. to not have a red hat. I don't have a red hat. Okay, a red hat. how does it look? You might have, I think I tried it on, so I'm <laughs> sure it's really there tiny. There we go. <laughs> yes. We'll fix that. How's Is that? Is there cardboard Great. in there? You can take yeah, the no, cardboard, cardboard out. Yeah, no, cardboard, you keep it, it keeps the, you gotta keep it up. Keep the People belt. like yeah, yeah. that? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, as, as the red look, does it work on camera? Oh, yeah, crew of ones. Perfect. I think All it right. looks fantastic, yeah. and it really cool. goes good with our Looks the back. Well, if you don't Perfect. mind, just keep wearing it. There you go. All keep right, so thank you, everybody. <laughs> okay, so I have to, I think I said thank you to Anchor listeners, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm not. There's there's stuff in the comments below. Anything you want to <laughs> know, do a little research. It's all there, and research is good for you. Okay, so not it, and I, I know it's. I don't mean to be rude. I'm really really <laughs> thankful, but I want to talk about this. So I'm so excited. So I have to earn my money. So I used to have two inch two unions, mm -hmm. two insurances. I could go anywhere, which is wonderful see a doctor and be like 100% covered because what one didn't cover, the other one right. did. Mm -hmm. They were complimented. Then the unions merged. Mm -hmm. Then they decided we needed to earn more money because they merged. I'm going to mm -hmm. give a little history lesson yep, here. let's do it. Yeah. All the after members who weren't necessarily working very much mm -hmm. became part of the Screen Actors Guild. And even still, I think only 10% of Screen Actors Guild members actually make over... I. I I don't know when this yeah, statistic was like over ten thousand a year. It's yeah. not a big. It's not a lot. I, I don't. It, I don't know the numbers. Even people like think yeah. I work on Adventures in Odyssey. They think I go on the studio every day and record. No, it's mm -hmm. like four times a year, just mm -hmm. a few episodes. We don't yep. work every day. No, if you worked forty hours a week at union rates, it'd be phenomenal. It would be wonderful. Be great. Be great. Loopers, some loopers. Yeah, some loopers too, absolutely. And there are some some jobs, but it's it's 
a, a, a small few people it's who very do hard to do that and so the reason so you guys don't feel jealous th the thing is you can't especially on camera actors mm -hmm. people don't want them in every single show because right. they're mm -hmm. overexposed and same with voiceover actors mm -hmm. anyway fast forward now we have to earn even more money and then mm -hmm. they've also changed some things mm -hmm. so every year you know i'm like well i make my health insurance uh, but you have done something incredible for actors, voice actors mm -hmm. in particular. Voice and I don't actors. think any mm -hmm. voice actors anymore will ever qualify for health insurance with the union. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very hard. It's, yeah, it's uh, 29,000, I think. 29, 26, 26, 9, 70, 26, 9, see, I, that, I, I, need that to, I, I need to have that number memorized. That doesn't <laughs> sound like a lot of money. Yeah, but yeah. how I would say maybe like seventy percent of the work is non-union, maybe. I'd say, I'd say more than seventy-five more than to eighty percent of the of most voiceover work is non-union. So to be able to yeah. get, so we we talked mm -hmm. in a, the previous episode about mm -hmm. how many auditions you do. Mm -hmm. What maybe you book one in 200, 300, mm -hmm. 400, 500 auditions, yeah. and then the chances of that being a, a union Three, job yeah. is yeah. even smaller. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, oh! You've got your new uh, tell you later tote Isn't bag. Cute? I love yeah, it. Did that. you get that at Merchalator? I sure did. Merchalator. It's so cute. Com. It, look, super tell cute. Tell ya later bag, and That's it's got awesome. everything in it. Do I they got... have hats? I'm, you know, very. Uh, anyway, I'm not gonna. It's, it's so. What did you do? We have uh, put together the National Association of Voice Actors, NAVA, and it's at. <laughs> It's, that gets a kazoo <laughs> and, and a bell, a bell. at the same That's time. That's right. It's amazing. At, uh, did Nava, you bring your clarinet? I did not bring my clarinet. No clarinets okay. today. Um, NavaVoices.org is the website, and it's myself and Karen Gilfrey. That's N-A-V-A. -A. Yep. Nava, N-A-V-A, Voices.org. National Association of Voice, voice actors. actors. And I know what all those, all those letters stand because for. Because you made it up. I made it up. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that helps. It it's does like help. creating you, your own demo. Oh, that yeah, was my yeah, yeah, question. Yeah. I just mm. remembered. Okay, keep talking. Yeah, you know? that, we'll, we'll come back to that one. Okay. Um, so Nava grew out of um, a few things. Um, my, I've been running the Gardner, the Gardner Street Group, the Gardner Collective, the Voiceover Collective with Jay Preston, and we had had kind of like a, a community fund that we put together for the voice actors. The when thing. they needed stuff, mm, I they, remember. Yeah, when they needed a little bit of help, you know, $100 here, $200 there to help people in our group. Um, Karen Gilfrey, who runs the voice actors, or started the voice actors of N NYC group, was doing something similar in her group. He's and talking about something very philanthropic. Mm -hmm. He just said, hey, if anybody wants to donate some money, sometimes some of our people need a little help. And mm -hmm. I don't know how you vet them, but uh, I'm sure it's very noble. Yeah. And that was so great. Yeah, and you, you did that. What made you mm, do that? Uh, we somebody had donated some money to something. I don't remember where it, where it started from. And they snacks might have been just for snack. Might have been something. We we ended up with a surplus for like one of the workout groups about something. And I don't remember exactly what what it was. But somebody suggested, you know, why don't we why don't we put put together a fund, a little a little fund in case. Somebody in the group, you know, somebody has to throw a rough month. They can't pay rent. They or can't was do something it, like did, that. Did you ever use it for if somebody wanted to participate and it paid their? Uh, pay? We've uh, we have not done that, um, but we have given but people just to help people to help, who yeah. needed some help. Yeah, and actually, I mean, it, it, it grew out of I, I had a rough time when I was first starting the studio, and the workout group got together one month and helped me pay my rent. Did they really? And so we kind of put the money back out of that and we ended up with um, some surplus Thank out of that. Thank you, workout yeah. group. Yeah. That's um, so cool. That's so, it, that's it was so nice. And, th and that, that kept me in LA. Oh, yeah. What I, okay, I, mm -hmm. I know I'm going to forget this. What I, you yeah, said, yeah. why are we so supportive? And mm -hmm. I just want to throw this out. It, mm -hmm. I think part of it is because, at least since I started, nobody saw us. We mm -hmm. didn't have right. that public image. We didn't yeah. even put our pictures on our demo reels because mm -hmm. we didn't want people to see what we look like. We wanted them to just listen yeah. yep. and see if they heard what they needed to hear. Mm -hmm. So we don't have that pressure of being public. I mean, you could be right. the star of Tom. Well, Tom and Jerry didn't talk back then, but right. <laughs> uh, the Flintstones even. Uh -huh. If you weren't Mel Blanc and you went to the store, nobody knew right. who you were. Right. And so you could have a normal life. 
-hmm. without having that celebrity status. Nowadays, people have to let people mm -hmm. know who they are. Right, yeah. But yeah. It, I think that's how, and it, it's continued to be supportive ever mm -hmm. since. Okay, back to yeah, you, Tim. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Back, um, back to you, Tim. <laughs> so we started this this fund, and you know, it's it's grown dramatically. And um, how do you start? Uh, it's a health insurance. We're, yeah, oh, we're, you're talking about your getting, other thing. Yeah, okay. we're getting there. Oh, we're getting there. Right, That's right. how we got to the health All insurance. All right, so you grew so, your fund to help people. So, so we, um, and, uh, unfortunately, a year and a half ago, uh, we lost Brad Venable. He's a good friend of my, one of my, my business partners. He started the Field Weekly Workout. He was part of the group with Jay and myself. Yeah, and um, I knew Brad. He picked he picked up me and the crew when the very first workout I ever did. Cliff oh, yeah. Zellman invited uh -huh. me to Dallas, yep. and Brad yeah, yeah. and Catherine picked us up oh, at the awesome. airport. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and we put together a big fundraiser to help to help Catherine out. And then after that, we had again had some surplus left over, and we put that into. Um, a larger fund to try and help help the voice actors in the in in the the smaller Facebook Facebook groups that we have. We've in about last year we've given out about twenty five thousand dollars to to different voice actors That's on huge. you know two hundred and fifty dollars here, a hundred dollars there of what people needed. Um, you know we 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 try and make a big you know a big deal out of it being this is an emergency fund. If you really absolutely need us, let us know. We'll help you. No questions asked. But don't go to Disneyland next week. No go to Disneyland. Don't turn around and buy a microphone with it. Don't turn around and you know like if it's something you really need because we want you know we don't have a huge amount of money in there and so we want to make sure that the the, the funds are being used um, you know for the, for the best things possible. With, if somebody with money. really really thought they mm -hmm. needed help, how would they? Would they have to be part of the Gardner workout group? That, that's currently in process. I don't know, and I can't answer that question because we don't have that. So you, that so you know, you say steps. in that case, you say, "Tell you, I'll tell you later." I'll tell you later. Okay, I'll tell you later. Okay. Um, we will find out later. And so, out of this, uh, out of this, this group, we, we we just we decided that we needed to put together a five hundred one c three to handle these donations. Right. Because um, everything had been running through our businesses, and so we established. That gets a, fund. a little sticky. Gets a little sticky, absolutely. And um, you know, like paper. PayPal and GoFundMe and other ones have great resources that make it easy to do donations. But once you get to a certain certain level, it starts to become much more difficult. And they to deal take with a big chunk. They do don't take a they? big chunk, absolutely. Yeah, they take a, take a big chunk. Um, but they also make sure you're compliant. They make sure the tax is taken care of. They make sure that any of the paperwork that needs to be done is handled. So you know you're you're paying for that that little bit of that security that you get to make sure that you're I'm writing not another note. Keep talking. Write it. Write it. Okay. And. Then once we put together the 501c3, put together an association called the National Association of Voice Actors, we learned that due to changes in healthcare regulations about two years ago, three years ago, that now associations of like-minded individuals or individuals of similar of, of a group could offer group health insurance. Oh. And so we looked into the logistics and the reality of making that happen, and we started in... December of last year, and why would you need to do that? Let's talk about what so, okay, why you well, thought there was a need. So there is, there are especially during COVID, a lot of people lost jobs and they lost group health insurance. A lot of people do voiceover, uh, not full time voiceover. Yeah, a lot of people are not full time voice actors. A lot of people are don't qualify for for enough union to meet the union threshold to get group health insurance. Right. Um, a lot of people are are because you have to qualify every year. If you have a slow year, especially in COVID, if you were working the year before and all of a sudden aren't working, you're going to lose your health insurance. And the options, not every state has has the ACA. You don't have um, you know the 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 um, Obamacare as that's called. Um, not every state has that. So you're either on the open market which is very expensive, or you're going to go to Cobra, which is very expensive, or you're not going to have health insurance. What do we have in California? We have covered California, So they do have, like, a Medicare... Mm -hmm. there, there's Medicare, there's Medicaid, and depending on how much you make based on your taxes, you can qualify for certain things. Um, if you, you know, if your threshold, your 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 income each year meets a certain threshold, then you get subsidies towards, towards the ACA, the Covered California Plans. So those are available. Um, but you thought you could do better. We thought we could do for those, some people, even the affordable care, you know, some people don't qualify. You're making just enough money to not qualify, so you don't get mm -hmm. subsidies, but you're not making enough money to to do enough union work. Or a lot of people are making a lot of money, but they haven't qualified to even be in the union. Oh, And right. so, so you're doing all this work. You're working full time. You're making six figures as a voice actor, but it's all non-union work. 
and you therefore can't even be in the union. Yeah, a lot of people, you know. So you have you know, to buy your own health insurance. You buy health insurance, yeah. That, you have that, a family. How much, <laughs> what what's, was the average rate, rate for insurance that you were finding that people were having to pay? Um, if you're on, if on you're on the own. open market, you're, you're up to upwards of $1,000 a month. Um, you have a family, you're $2,500 a month or so, depending oh. on what you, what level of plan you're trying to get, wow. what coverage you want. Wow. You can be lower if you have a higher deductible and if you want less benefits and if you want you know, let less less options it's if you don't have a family. It's a good thing you're a musician because you know how to take notes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and get all this organized. Try. I mean, it's, That's it, a yeah. lot of information to it's, process. It's and a lot to is process. Is Cara, no, I don't, mm-hmm. I, I may have met her online. I don't know her mm-hmm. personally. Mm-hmm. Is she a good, like, plan per the, oh she's she yeah all that oh she's detailed phenomenal stuff? yeah well she, she essentially was doing in new york what we, were, what we were doing in la and we were like we gotta we gotta talk we gotta connect because uh, you're basically the more people you have people. does it make mm-hmm. it less yeah the expensive? bigger the bigger the pool the bigger pool we have what's the fangirl up to this week to find out stay tuned till after the credits um, and the the bigger pool we have, and those who sign up, we get lower rates um, as we go through. Right now, we're in the census gathering process, which means we have to put together our initial pool of people, which means we have to put together, collect census information on everybody. The plans we're looking at are available in all states except for Hawaii. Because you had to find a provider. Uh, well, that's, that's what we're working on right that, now. So yeah. it hasn't quite come together yet no we're, it doesn't exist it doesn't yet. exist yet no we're in the our, our plan is to is to is to we, we started in december and got the original census done and then some laws changed in january of the beginning of the year so we had to go back and regather information because the information we have was no longer accurate for the current the current law current laws that we needed um if and, people pay for their health insurance is hmm? that a deductible thing for their taxes? I believe so. That's a good question. I'm not a tax professional and I do not and, know the correct answer to that question. And you don't play one on TV. I, I pay, I have my tax person takes care of that. I give yeah, all the I'm, stuff I'm that I need. Yeah, but I'm just wondering. I know, I know that like I get tax forms for the ACA. I'm, I'm on Cover California and I get tax forms every year that I submit for that. Um, so, so what do you think your program will be better than than what you have right now? Or is this for other people because you I, think you're happy with your plan? I don't know. I mean, I we are purely in the information gathering okay. stage based on the information so that we have. So if you know have. anything about this, contact <laughs> hmm? timfriedlander.com because <laughs> exactly. it has a website. Timfriedlander.com. Um, we, we, we're working with an insurance broker. We're working with directly with a couple insurance providers to give mm-hmm. us information. But in until we have an actual um, full census of people to present to the healthcare companies, we're going to get. We have no information. We can get. We can get skeptical, and people they can kind of give us a ballpark of what they think it might be. But until they run the numbers and actually look at the the health of the plan, they're going to look at you know in, in, in any group healthcare plan is based on the health of the, the, people, the people members of it. Um, so while so. he's doing this, stay healthy out there. Stay healthy. I mean, stay your healthy, UVC yeah. lights are certainly going to help. That will help. Uh, yeah, I, you know, it, it takes. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, and we are. Yeah, we could yeah. say we will. We are going to douse every <laughs> exactly. person in this plan UBC with some UVC. UBC. Yep. Yes, exactly. They will well, be. And in voice actors, if we can show that we're voice actors, this pool of voice actors, because we don't, we're not on set, we're not in other as parts, exposed. we're not as exposed, we're not in dangerous situations. Our risks as a pool are lower. Same reason why, you know, workers comp workers comp insurance in California is lower for voice actors than others because we have uh-huh. we're in a less um, a less risky environment. So so still I don't I'm not sure I got my question answered. Okay. Karen's still working on it too. She yeah, hasn't done it yet. Yes. So well she so I'm the president of Nava, she's vice president. Okay. And we're working on it together. But mm-hmm. how do you think this is why do you think there's the like, what niche is this going to address? There is currently, if you're gonna, we're going to talk union and and just union itself, if you fall off the union plan, there's nothing below that. So if you fall off that plan, you're just left to the free market or you're left to Obamacare or you're left mm-hmm. to COBRA. And 
that makes it difficult to get back into SAG-AFTRA. Oh, really? If, well, if, you, if you're spending all of your money, if you're spending all of your time trying to make your health insurance, you're, you're not, you, may not, you may have to take a different job. You may not be able to do the jobs you want to do. You may, have to, you may not be able to turn down low-paying jobs. And now, if all your entire goal is to make your health insurance, it changes what your priorities are in, in your work. You may have to leave. Puts a lot of stress. Puts a lot of stress. You may have to you know, go back and get a full-time job. You may have to go back to a previous job you had and leave your voice acting career behind. Whereas hopefully with something like this, you can use this plan to be a buffer. It can be if you like aren't- a gap insurance? It, it could be gap insurance. Or forever um, insurance. Or forever insurance. You, you know, the, the, as the plan progresses, the rates will hopefully go down. The, the pool gets That's bigger. Exciting. The longer the Are rate's going. Are you excited? Gone. I'm, I, I, I don't know yet. I'm hopeful. I'm you, nervous. Are you cautiously optimistic? I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. optimistic. Okay. Um, you know, I mean, there, there is the full, you know, there is the full possibility that we get this and it doesn't work. And people don't. You know. Um, but you, you're not afraid to try. I'm not afraid to try. I um, mean, you did a thousand auditions. <laughs> and <laughs> you're, you're good at failing. Yeah, I'm good at failing. <laughs> That's great. I'm great at failing. No, I have and we never see failure as failure. <laughs> only as a opportunity to see what we can do yeah, better exactly. or something yeah. like that. Uh, so you know we've got we've got a board of advisors that's helping us with this. Karin and I are working on this together. We're working with as many resources as possible to make sure that we cover our bases and that we're not going to go in with, you know, with with partial information so that we don't come back with oh hey sorry we need more information yeah. we need this. So so when you finally get this going, mm -hmm. I'm sure there'll be information. Mm -hmm. uh, all over yep. the place. Yeah, and, and it'll all be not NavaVoices.org is where all the information is Nava currently. NavaVoices.org. Yep, and currently the census is up there. If you want to join, you can go to NavaVoices.org, click on fill out the so census form. the census form. is, do you census, qualify? Would you be interested? Yep, exactly. Right? The census currently right now is just, are you interested? Give us your information. Oh. And this information is what um, is required by and the And you're not going to sell companies. it to anybody. It, that information is staying with Private. me. Private. It stays with me. I'm the only person who has access to this information. It's, um, um, through our website that I run, and it's going to be shared with our insurance companies only. Perfect. Um, and the same thing as if you were same information that if you get a job and you go to a group health, you know, group provider with a job, and they have you fill out an information form, it's the same information that that we need for all health insurance plans that you're going to join. Very cool. Um, and the more people we get, the bigger the pool the more likely we are to have favorable rates. They're going to come back with us at something that is going to be comparable. Um, somewhat or at least beneficial to help somebody get back into SAG after or to help somebody work towards SAG after. You know, the SAG after health insurance is, is great, it's phenomenal. It's yes. just not available to everybody. It's, and, it's, it's a, you, you know. don't realize how good it is until mm -hmm. you lose it. Yep. Oh, look. Oh, crew of one's getting nice. a phone call. How about nice. it's very pretty, isn't that? <laughs> very nice. This little chime of that. Nice. So yeah, I'm going to use. Background music. I'm going to use an NPR <laughs> turn, term yes. and circle back let's around. Let's circle back I'm around. Circle back to the things yes. that I forgot to ask yes, you about. We have my big, big legal pad of paper. Mm, so we yeah, did yeah. this. Go. When we were talking about producing demos, mm -hmm. and you said that somebody else had written your copy, kind mm -hmm. of pushed you into this mold that wasn't really you. Mm -hmm. I I or find I, the hardest thing is yeah. writing my own copy. When someone says, mm -hmm. well, okay, we'll make your demo, I've actually shied away from producing a demo mm -hmm. because I thought, I don't want to do the work of writing the copy. <laughs> writing the copy for yourself or I for don't, somebody yeah, else? Yeah, for me. Oh, you should never write your own copy. So, uh, I don't think you should. I don't think well, you're right. I mean, you Some people have, ask you, they say, I mean, put help, put so, so, yeah, and I have, and you're actually so. helping people make demos now. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we so have a company. What are you doing a differently? And how, how, another company. Another company, West what Coast. Are the initials of that company? WCD, West Coast Demos. Com. West Coast Demos. You heard it <laughs> yep. here. West Coast Demos. It's what? myself and Carson Beck. Okay. Uh, we are Sova's award winning demo producers. Sova's, which for some of our listeners, Society of Voice Arts and Sciences. Okay, uh, this is, yep. we should call this the acronym, the acronym show. show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, land of acronyms. T-Y-L. Yeah. So. That's yeah, T Y L exactly. Yep, yep. All right, <laughs> acronyms. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. so the West Coast demos. West Coast demos. Yep. So you don't make people write their own. I don't. Th we don't. That's not an approach that we take. Mm -hmm. I think that um, you know, when I, whenever I've done my demos, I've never written my own copy. Um, somebody always writes, so they bring it to us. Because, so how is that different from when that first demo was made, where you said it just wasn't really? I, I, well, I don't think. I mean, I didn't know what I. I didn't know what I was as a voice actor, so I was just 
I didn't I didn't know well enough and they didn't know well enough I just hadn't been doing it long enough to I wasn't prepared to do the demo and I shouldn't have done it when I did it um, but it was it seemed like that was what we were supposed to be doing at that time and so we so, wait for the green light if someone yeah well, wait who, for the, who, yeah. who do who would you rely on to tell you hey you're demo ready I mean working with a if I'm you know I'm working with a coach when I've worked in the past I've worked with a coach who's told me you know I work with um, you know I, I was working with a coach back when I did my first demo but there was no real you know, this was in 96, so it was, hey, you have a good voice. You should do voiceover. Right. That's which, what they said yeah, to me. Like, which is the worst reason to get into voiceover. So it's not, not about necessarily. How, you, how great of a voice you have, <laughs> but can you use that voice? Can you tell a compelling story? Can uh, do people want to listen to what you have to say? Not only do what? you sound good, but can you keep that listener engaged? Can you keep... So there's the skill. The there's voice the skill. acting. Little V, right, big the A. There's the acting involved in that. And so... Yeah. Um... <sighs> You, you, I heard you say on the other show that when you got serious to come mm -hmm. back into voiceover after you got that kind of reboot, reinvigoration mm -hmm. from the conference, that people said, uh, I, and I quote, <laughs> they said, nobody wants your voice. Oh. Uh -huh. What the heck? Yeah. Well, you know, and this was for you, and I think it, this this kind of big radio voice, big the big the bass, the big bass, bass voice has you know has has been moving not necessarily moving out of favor, but moving into people accepting of other voice types in new They're and not promo. the only thing they We're want. Not, not the only thing, and therefore it makes it now not only are you competing against everybody who sounds like you, now you're competing against people who don't sound like you, and this kind of goes back to. We talked about earlier is that if people just don't don't want your don't want that sound, that voice sound, that voice print in their commercial, doesn't matter how good you are, you're not going to book. To enjoy the full episode, please support us at patreoncom slash tell you later. Thanks a lot. There's like all this stuff, there's going lots of stuff on coming around. World. Yeah, there's, there's, there's some tons of stuff. I mean, people, there's lots of people who are doing. But, but you kind of get into that stuff. Didn't into, you yeah. have like a like a video? podcast thing going on at Soundbox and you have some like famous person tell you later tell you later is a patreon driven entertainment show so what are you waiting for come on over join us at patreon.com front slash Tell you later. I didn't wink on nine on nudge to slightly acquiesce, but still, somehow, you up and guess my inclination because I never. I never said yes, I never said no, I never said...